Bonjour mes amis, my name is Freya and welcome to a different kind of video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Creatures Storyteller, which I don't know what it is. Hey Google, can we get some royalty free music? Sure, playing the album royalty free music, 80s and 90s on Spotify. So there is a Discord server called the Chaos Coding Cave. I believe it's run by Pilla of the Creatures community. And a lot of development projects are talked about, worked upon, discussed there. And I, I am a member of that server, but I'm never on it. I never read any of the anything. So I actually don't know what Creatures Storyteller is. But I noticed that it was the latest news post on Creatures Caves that Storyteller version 1.0 was out. And I just had to try it. <laughs> if you look there, the icon for it is adorable. So we're gonna be getting into that. Let's go! By the way, you may have noticed that I'm looking in a different direction than my webcam would imply I should be looking at. This is because I got a new monitor. Why do I have a new monitor? I'm building a computer. And so hopefully, the next time I do a video for you guys that's using virtual reality, it'll be a little bit nicer. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's got like a little launcher thingy. Um, it's only detecting docking station. I do have the other creatures games installed, but it might just be for docking station. I'm not sure. If that's a bug, I'm, I'm sure the devs will have a look at it. I think this was made by um, Zoot with like a bunch of Zs. Like, I'm not just being silly or anything. Oh! Hello! Huh, okay, it's got some, like, Norn files in there. Can I, like, just search a name? No, that doesn't work. Okay. Dev tools. Execute. I guess that's for, like, a command line. Launch Chaos Tool 2020. Oh! Oh! I see. So let's just pull something up at random. Very nice, very nice. Nice color coding. Uh, if you guys didn't know, there was a previous chaos tool um, that wasn't very good for some reason. Uh, it detected a lot of syntax errors where none actually were, at least on my computer. I've heard that that's not a problem everybody had, but it's certainly a problem that I had. Okay, so that's cool. That's neato. I look forward to using that the next time I make something. And uh, let's see how the launcher works. Oh, that is not supposed to play through my speakers. Let me, let me fix that. I've got like a whole bunch of new gadgets hooked up to my computer now, so. Okay, that muted it. How do I switch it to my headphones? There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have Camtasia set up to record uh, my computer's audio. Uh, kind of getting a black screen. It wasn't a black screen just a second ago. Don't know if that's a problem. Let me close it and start again. That's white. Okay. Maybe it's a problem with my game. So let me try launching it just from the t task bar. Okay, it's a problem with my game. Problems if I move it back to my main monitor. Okay, it's fine on my main monitor. But if I move it back over here... I don't get anything. Okay, so this is a technical difficulty on my end. I'm gonna switch to recording with my other monitor. All right, everyone, sorry about that. Okay, hopefully this will work a little bit better. If we go to display server data, um, the norms that we get to see, they change. So that's cool. This one is sleeping in the lake from the Norn Garden. So that's interesting, but if we click on them, we get like their moniker and who their mother and father were and whether they were conceived naturally or spliced. So that's really cool. Uh, and if they have children, yeah. That's neat. I don't know if there's like a way to import them, but if we click on the parent names, then we can go all the way up. Very cool. And uh, the launcher does appear to work. It was just my monitor being weird about creatures, so I need to figure out what's up with that. So let's make a new world. Storyteller test. Okay, and let me just go through and collect all of the room signposts. I have like a specific order that I always do it in, and I'm sure it annoys people. There we go. I know that there's um, an add-on that will let you change the order of the signpost shortcuts, 
but I don't know. I had it for a little while, and then I was too lazy to read the README, and I couldn't figure out how to do it without the README, and I was just like, oh well. I, I can just get them in the same order every time, it's not a big deal. Okay, so I want to be able to pick up this um, water weed plant so I can move it to the jungle so that the dragonflies there can reproduce. But I'm gonna try doing that through Storyteller. So if I go to Dev Tools, uh, I want to mouse over the plant but still be in the window, so I'll just do that. Then. Cute. Did that work? It worked! Okay, cool, cool. Fantastic. Okay, so you can execute chaos commands through this. It's also got, like, a pretty advanced chaos tool. And maybe the Norns I produce will automatically show up in the server data? I don't know. Or maybe it would be local data. Let's find out. I don't know if there was a readme that came with this for the record. If there is, I haven't read it. Let's get a pretty butterfly Norn. And, um, I guess I'm limited to my options since Eminora's breeds are typically not compatible with any of the others. So I'll get a Flora Norn. Hey, little guy. I will call you... Figus. And you... I will call you... Haggis. They're gonna hate me. Figus? Figus? Nothing's coming up. Maybe I should read the readme. Was there a readme? I, in fact, cannot find a readme. So that's interesting. I guess we're gonna have to navigate this one blind, guys. And Emerald Norn was born to the Etten egg layer, I guess probably because the genome started with E. So we'll name you... Figus. And there's nothing at all funny about that. <laughs> ah, we have an actual Grendel, who is Grendel-like. A new Gragas. Okay, so I've restarted Storyteller. Oh, what is this? Looks like HTML. Hello? Reload? Huh. Maybe it's like a debugging thing. Okay. Oh. Oops. Turn on auto kill. Uh, still not seeing anybody who I have. Is the search broken? Or am I doing something wrong? Question is, with the game open, can I import? I don't think I can. And I also don't know how you get your Norns into the server. I'm gonna check the uh, coding cave. All right, so I'm having a look at the readme. I have no idea if this is the latest readme. However, it's got uh, creature images done, creature history events 1% done, family links done, but uploading is not available yet. So uh, I'm not stupid for not knowing how to upload creatures. It's just not a thing yet, I hope. Maybe there's like a more updated readme. I found this by searching readme in the, uh, discord. Yeah, uploading isn't ready yet. There's gonna be... Oh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff, actually. A sprite tool, a map tool, agent builder. I'm really looking forward to this, actually. Like, as a developer, this is gonna be great. Okay, so, uh, they haven't quite gotten everything set up yet, but it's showing a lot of promise. I'm really excited for this to continue its development. <laughs> But that's gonna be all for today's video, so thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!